Hi, uh, my name is Manny, and I made a video criticizing Area 51 for not existing. But I'll tell you this much I uh, jumped in there and ate a lot of crow that day. I'm actually trying to make it my regular stop once I get the money and the decent vehicle to be able to get there. I live way too far from Area 51. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up is that even though Area 51 does exist, my request to my request to uh, make a for Breck to establish a trampoline park still stands because it's like you can never trust me. You can never have too many of those places. Those places will those places will do a lot of help. I mean, you know, for one thing, for one thing, um, Baton Rouge has been criticized for his weight and for his uh, weight problems. A lot of people down here are little little chubby. I mean, I was actually a lot smaller in my earlier videos if you pay attention so you know that offer still stands people really do need to sort of make this into a thing but and I've been asking I've been asking I've been requesting I've been tweeting I've been annoying them lately and it's like the people at the break area knows who I am by my face alone it's like they don't even need to know my name it's like you know oh it's like I can just see the aura it's like oh is that guy he's always trying to do something for the extreme division but what I'm trying to bring up is like, but I've been asking a lot lately, and I just want to be able to talk to the person responsible for Breck or talk to the, the head honcho or just be able to see what he or she or they might have to say about it. And it's starting to bum me out because it seems like Breck is just not going to hear me out on this sort of thing. But what I'm saying is that, like, you know, we don't have a lot of stuff on this side of town, the 70805 area, the the poor side or the you know whatever you want to call it the poor side the low income side the area with all the gangsters and thugs and people who shoot each other you know the stuff that you want to say but you really can't because you don't want to sound racist we don't have a lot of stuff to do out here there's a reason like you know you create boredom and hostility and you put that all in one place things are going to get bad really quickly and you know but like I need you to understand something here there's, there's kids being born in this side of town this kid's being born this out of town, and there's one thing I know is that your environment can sort of affect who you are as a person. If you're bored and angry, if you're bored and angry, then you're going to do something to quell the anger. And to quell the anger, you you might shoot a guy. And if you and and if your kid sees that, your kid's going to think, well, if I'm bored and angry, I'm just going to go shoot a guy. What better way? to establish a better neighborhood than by creating something or by manifesting something or maintaining something that could actually help the kid. You know, give them a place to run around. Give them a place to go crazy. I mean, Breck, you have Independence Park. You have the Independence Park Theater. What I'm trying to suggest is there's a building, there's a, a big old abandoned space at the corner of Choctaw and Foster, like right down the street from where I live within walking distance of a lot of people who just happen to live in this neighborhood they could you could turn that into what you turn what you turn Independence Park into you could have a you know you could have a nice little um you know you could have a nice little you know a big or, or, or even better a giant indoor park you know uh, like you know you can have a place where people could work out a place where people can lounge a place where people can sort of just sit down and read a good book a place where people can actually go to and and, and, and do something reasonable on uh, you know do something reasonable and not dangerous you know or, or or even better just just make a make an indoor basketball court something you have all this space and all this stuff on this side of town that you could be doing something with and you choose not to what makes it even worse is you're practically saying you're going to take away uh, take away one of the the um, the swimming pools. Take away one of the swimming pools in the neighborhood. I mean, I don't know how to swim. I never got a chance to learn. But let, and you want to do you want to do the little sprinkling little sprinkling water thing. That, you know, I think it's the little fountain. I don't know what it's called, a splash pad. That's cool and all, but I want to know how to swim. You know, and you know, and granted, obviously, you know. I want to be able to know how to swim and that place is within walking distance my car is not the best vehicle to be driving around and doing all this crazy stuff with and you know it's like you have to realize that there's a lot of stuff that's going on in this neighborhood that you is like you know that you can help 
you can help with. You can make a gym over here. You can make a, a theater over here. You can make a stage. Or or check this out. This, check this out. This is a cool idea. How's about you make a stage, and every month host a talent show. You know what I mean? And the winner can say that they won a monthly talent show. I mean, it, it's just these small things that help with the neighborhood bring it to the better place, bring it, make it into a better place than it should be. And if you, you know, you, you gotta help somewhere down the line. This is an establishment that makes sixty-nine million dollars a year, from what I, from what I've read, from what I've read and picked up on. Apparently, I make sixty-nine million dollars a year. Sixty-nine million dollars a year. And you're talking about it's too expensive to maintain a simple pool? That's a job. You keep that pool, you can have people training to be lifeguards, you can have uh, people training to be swimming instructors, you can have people you can have people you can hire people to take care of the to maintain the pool. That's a job maker right there. And yet you want to take that pool away. You want to take that pool away. You want to ignore my idea towards uh, making a trampoline park within the city because I'm telling you, that's a million dollar idea. That is a good idea. You, you're willing to completely ignore my idea, take away a park, and and, 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 and I mean, like, I mean, what, what, what are you doing, Breck? What are you, what exactly are you doing? I mean, you see a hood, but I'm seeing potential. You see a, a, a place full of, you see a place that you're willing to ignore, but I see prosperity. Slowly building prosperity. If I had the money, I wouldn't even be begging you to do this. If I had my, if I, if I had the financial, if I had the finances, I'd do this on my own. But I can't. I don't have that kind of money. But what I'm saying is, y'all do. Everybody up in this side of town, you know, some people don't have a car. Some people don't have a way to get around. You do this stuff, you make something within what reasonable distance, people will A, work for you because they need a job and they need a job they can go to, and B, people will go there. I have a, I have an idea for a park. Hire you hire me. I'd help. Hire me. I would help out. I would love to be the person who is responsible for park and break based things in 70805 area. Or just in this side of town in general. Because of the fact that it doesn't really seem like you guys care enough. But I do. Please. Please. Do not get rid. Please. Number one. Do not get rid of that pool. Because of the fact that it's just, it, it's just dumb. It's just really, really dumb. And your building is like right at the corner of Florida and Ardenwood too. You're gonna you do you really want a whole bunch of really angry people to go over there and raise hell? Because that can happen. Two. Two. And this is a big one. Help, try out my idea for a trampoline park. Trust me. It's a good idea. You'll love it. It's awesome. Have you seen Sector 6? Have you seen Area 51? Have you seen that place in New Orleans? These things are money. You make one of these you make one of these within a reason within, you know, this side of town. The money would just make itself. I mean, there's just so much there's so much that you could do on this side of town, Breck. There's so much that you could do on this side of town in general. Just, just find a space. Find, just find a space, establish something, and make this place into something. Turn this place, and you know, turn this, uh, turn this sword into a plowshare. So turn, make this into something much more relevant. And you won't look like you won't look like a bunch of lazy rich douches in the process. That's all I'm saying. Thank you, Breck. Hopefully, you'll hear me now or not. I don't even care. But. I'm trying to improve this city. I'm trying to improve this side of town. And if I, if, even though I don't have any money, I hope that my voice and I hope that my message gets sp spilt some kind of way. Thanks for listening to the whole thing.